If you are new to my channel, please press the subscription and bell button to get all my recipes I will be posting regularly. Hello friends, welcome back to Cooking with Grace. Today I am going to show you a simple vegan curry with colocasia or in Malayalam we call chamber. So uh, this is the chamber that I have taken. It's about less than uh, half kilo. So I'll show you how I'm going to peel, clean and cut it. After peeling, wash it thoroughly to clean off any mud particles. Then cut into half inch cubes. Into a clay pot, add these pieces along with 1 teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon thinly sliced ginger, 6 slitted green chilies, 2 pots of garlic thinly sliced, water just in level with vegetable. Mix all this well and cook covered on high flame. While it's cooking, let's grind half cup grated coconut and one teaspoon cumin seeds adding little water. So this is now ground to fine paste. Also beat and make smooth one and a half cup curd, preferably sour curd which gives curry a better taste. So these two are ready, we will keep it aside. Now the vegetable mixture starts to boil, adding a teaspoon of salt and mix it. Lower the flame and let it cook for another 5 minutes till chamber is cooked. Ok, now chamber is done, make sure not to overcook it. Adding coconut ground paste and combine well. On a high flame, let the curry boil for about 2 minutes. Now switch off the flame and in goes beaten curd. Give it a good mix, check for salt and add if required now. Finally for tempering, heat 2 tablespoon coconut oil or any vegetable oil in a pan and once it's hot add 1 teaspoon mustard seeds and let it splatter. In goes quarter teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, 4 sliced shallots, 2 broken dried chilies, red chilies, few curry leaves. Stir it until shallots are golden. Now switch off the flame and add quarter teaspoon of red chilli powder. Mix this well and pour this onto the curry immediately. Give it a good stir. Leave it covered for couple of minutes and enjoy this mild spicy tangy curry with hot rice for Kerala meals. This is one of the easiest vegetarian curry that can be prepared with limited ingredients yet delicious. It tastes better the next day and stays good even without refrigeration for 2-3 to three days. Mm -hmm. 